Jamie's doing a bit of go, GoPro and Matt's trained him up well. G'day guys, it's Jamie back. Today I'm on the excavator. A few months ago, the D4 was pushing up all this rock, windrows in this very rocky paddock. So what I've been doing is I've been going around in the excavator. My brother's on the dump truck and we, yeah, we're just cutting it down to the waterway for us to compact down so um yeah so the waterway has a hard base so they'll prevent erosion too what i do is i level out the uh windrow so um the excavator can sit up on top of it so i make it level so this thing isn't shaking all about so then what i do is i break in the rocks so I have a pile ready for the next load with the dump truck. an odd rock away from the windrow like see this one I just bring it in to the windrow but yeah in these windrows there are a fair few big ones like there'd be some over a hundred kilos but that's no problem for this excavator but there's a few snakes in these windrows, it's a nice cool spot for them. Being so hot in the summer here, it's probably about 40 degrees out there at the moment. So you find a few brownies and blacks. A few big ones in there too. Thankfully I'm in a cab. So yeah, that's what I do as I wait for the dump truck. The dump truck probably has a three, th two and a half, three K circuit. So we're just dumping down, down there. So yeah, on a good day, we probably move around a thousand ton really, because that dump truck holds around 30 ton each load. So yeah, we do around 30 to 40 loads on a good day. So yeah, we'll wait for the dump truck to return. Here we have it. Jamie and Isaac, two oldest boys, working together, getting the job done. It's uh, good to see. Good to see they can get along sometimes. For the common goal of uh, getting the rocks out of the paddock. So that's good to see. Jamie's uh, going well on the excavator and Isaac's uh, yeah, going well on the dump truck there too. And um, yeah, we're just, they're just laying that down. You can see Robbo down there going. He's just helping grade the um, haul road. Isaac said it was getting a bit rough, but yeah, so they're going up. They're going up there. To the rock piles over there. I'll just get it to focus better. Yeah, the rock pile. So they've laid rock from there where the 23 is down to there. They're probably up to yeah, 6,000 ton or something like that of rock. We've done uh, the three contours. So we've done one, two, and three. And now I'm just now I'm just pushing, or just ripping this contour here. 
here and um, yeah, about to, about to do this one. So that's sort of the, the uh, last one up this area of the paddock and we've got to go over the other side of the paddock and do that. So yeah, for that, we're, uh, this is what it's all about seeing the next generation have a crack and uh, yeah it's good to see as a father just watch on and see your kids learning and growing and um, learning a few more skills and uh, yeah get along with each other so yeah that's what it's all about eh? that's the good thing about farming and being able to bring your kids up that can work with you and and um, yeah, how much of a hoot is that to be able to for the kids to learn and to be work working beside you, helping you? Good morning, guys. It's a uh, another day, and we're back on the excavator. Um, yeah, got gonna check it out, check the oils. Thought I'd show you. So under here you've got your oil. That's good. So then we got put this down. And we've got our slew motors. And then around here you, we have the hydraulic sight glass. It's up here. Got right there. So that's a bit low, but it's all good. The other day we just, the other day we greased it all over, there's heaps all up in that arm, and then there's some up there, but, yeah, Dad's going to be back on Tiny Wine, over there, he's making a contour along here, so we'll be working all pretty close. Just pulled up to fill up the excavator. Five o'clock now, we're probably gonna go for another hour. So it's up there to fill, so yeah, it's been going very well today. I worked out that um this excavator the excavator bucket, I'll just show you, it can carry four ton, well this bucket at least, here I'll put it to scale, this is my, this is me sitting, here, I'm just sitting in the bucket, plenty of room, so Dad told me this can hold four ton, so then we've done probably 6,000 ton down in that waterway. I'll see if I can show you when I'm driving past, show you how much we've moved. But yeah, this thing's awesome. Well, we're just knocking off, and uh, as I was heading back, I thought I'd show you 
all the loads we've done. So, we have done all that. That's, um, yeah, about 6,000 tonne of dirt and rock there. Probably nearly 300 metres long of two lines. But yeah, today went well, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. G'day guys, it's a Monday morning. Got here early because today's gonna be a hot day, trying to beat the heat, so it's six o'clock at the moment, and yeah, we're gonna probably not do a full day because Dad's on the dozer and it's gonna overheat pretty soon. But, but look at that sunrise, it's like, that's nice. But hopefully today we'll have no issues, but I guess we'll find out. Well, everything's been going smoothly so far, and it's 12 o'clock at the moment, and it's really hot out here. It's probably 40, around 40 degrees at the moment. But um, while I was here, I thought I'd show you some of the rocks that I'm uh, excavating up. So here's one, a big one here. It's a, It'd be a meter and a half long, half a meter wide, but it's very, yeah, it's a lot of those type. But, yeah, the dose is over here. He's pushing up a waterway, Daddy's, and um, yeah, we're probably only gonna go to two o'clock because today's gonna get to 44 degrees Celsius. And, the engines do not like that heat. Ah oh, well, it's 2.30 and we're about to knock off. Real hot, we just came back to fill up our fuel trailer. Got a little issue, it's a little bit dark to start working on the dozers and excavator uh, at the moment. But I've got my handy work crew here, we'll go and say good day to them. Hey boys, come on, stop hiding, get into the light. So, how are you guys going? Bit, bit tired? Yep. Took a bit to wake you up this morning, didn't it? <laughs> You're all rare and to go. Yep. It's the uh, last last week of work, isn't it? Before school. Before holidays. Yeah, we're going away for a week, so that'll be good. To the coast. Yeah. Oh, well, we, we're a bit bit keen this morning, but anyway, it's better that because we got another. Yesterday was 44 degrees, and uh, today's going to be 42, and. Uh, yeah, we got a full week of 40 plus and then heaps of rain next week, I think. So Brad's away at the moment and we got um, Johnny on the rock picker, Josiah on the cultivator and Matt 
on the sprayer and Robbo, Danny uh, grading the contours and forming up some of the ones we haven't touched. So yeah, it's all happening. Check this out for a sunrise. We're getting, you can see the silhouette of the, do, uh, the excavator and the dump truck there. And then the uh, dozer there. So this is the life. We get, get the boys cleaning out the dozer. Cleaning out the radiator there and ready for another day. Bit of dusting that. So Jamie, do you reckon you'll get the um the windrows, rock windrows all done this week? Yep. Oh, hopefully. That'd, that'd be nice. Oh. Well, well. Have you got a torch? No. Oh, the sun's slowly coming up. I'll use the natural torch. Uh, probably good to uh, be able to see the oil levels and coolant properly. <laughs> oh, that doesn't give me much confidence, that. Jamie's checking out the lights on the excavator. I don't, don't think you'd see a lot, but uh, probably need to invest in a few work lights, I dare say, if we we're going to do night, night driving. Up here with Isaac and we'll check out the uh, dump truck here. How's the uh, oil level look? Can you see it? Felt it. Okay, let's turn it on, eh? Turn the light on and we'll have a look. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's on the full. I don't think the dump truck's lights are any better. One I banded there. Yesterday we had to shut, shut out for about midday with the dump truck because it was starting to overheat. There you go on there Jamie, you call you the grease monkey. We know wherever you've been with the grease gun, don't we? Yep. It's all over the machine and all over you. Probably need better lights. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> I'll get more grease on me. Machines are all serviced, ready to go. We're, uh, guess I'll better get in the dozer now. And do a bit of work, the boys are sorted, so I'll uh, cart a bit more of that rock there and got now it's daylight, you can see a bit better. There's wind rays up there, wind rays down there. And we're still putting that in the waterway, laying the rock in the waterway. And uh, I'm filling in this little gully all the way through up there. And then I've got to run a couple of contours around the around the top there to go wrap, wrap around the hill. So this is phase two. Uh, we've finished around the other side where I was working. So yeah, we'll get into it. Oh, look at that cute little 46 ton excavator. Jamie's doing a bit of go, GoPro and that's trained him up well. We'll have a phone wall. Just got to finish this little section here and I might build build these banks above me so if we do get more rain, they're talking next week, I'll uh, have some protection and won't uh, road out what I've just done. And then it's got that, it's going to have a couple hundred metres down there to finish off once I build a few more contours up the top here. 
first push for the day. See whether she's still got the ponies. Dirt rolling off the blade there. It's always a good sign. Yeah, nah, she's rare in the game. Ready to be put to work today. Just feed us some dinosaur juice. at the moment it's heated up again but this morning I think dad fixed the dump truck so it's not overheating as much but um yeah Isaac and me have swapped over machines for a little bit and yeah might put us on time lapse of the new haul road we're doing on this thing Lucky GoPro has survived the D11. I just spent a couple of minutes there trying to search the GoPro. It 
I saw it fall off the blade and thought, oh, she's buried. Anyway, it fell out underneath the blade, so Matt will be happy I recovered his GoPro. Anyway, well, uh, on that note, I guess I guess I better not tell Matt about that. We've got Isaac tearing over the hilly in the dear old Jackaroo. Oh, he's got some speed there. You know, he got some air, you reckon, Jamie? Yeah, probably. <laughs> We sort of don't need to tell him to speed up, do we? We just... <laughs> He's sort of the guy that you need to just encourage to slow down a little bit. He loves a bit of speed, a bit of right foot, don't you, Isaac? Yeah. How are you going today? You a bit tired? How many sleeps in the dump truck have you had every day? How many? I don't know, probably three. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you've done a really good job, guys. I'm really proud of you. You've had, had a good crack this school holidays, eh? It's been good fun working with you. We're just like boys in their toys, eh? Yeah, so you reckon you paid off some bills, boys? Paid off my motorbike bill. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it feel good, does it? Yep. No debt now. <laughs> Now you're on to the next thing, saving up for a U-day. Yep. Now I just need a fishing rod. Fishing rod, eh? Last day of um, work for you, isn't it? Before school goes back. You mean holidays? Yeah, la well. Just the last week is work, and then yeah. next week's beach holiday, and then next week's school. Yeah, so we're, we're going away for a week. Um, Brad and family are coming back today. From Victoria so they've been away for a couple of weeks and they'll take over while we we go for a week to the coast so that'll be nice we're looking forward to it eh? Yep. be able to do some surfing <laughs> more motorbikes just because you just because you paid your debt off doesn't mean you go and buy another one <laughs> I'm t telling myself this too. <laughs> Nearly go close to cleaning up all those windrows up there we'll over in the distance. Um, yeah, can't quite see the escalator over there, but it's looking fantastic. So, right, eh? Well, we uh, better get into our last day of work, eh? This is what. They do when you leave them unsupervised. Have you ever heard such thing as a football? You didn't bring a football to work. You gotta do the DIY version. You gotta improvise, eh? <laughs> I am uh, sorry to say, but we probably should get to work, eh? A nice sunrise over there in the D4, sitting over the hill there. So it's uh, currently got a starter motor that needs replacing. We've got that a new one back at the workshop there, so that might be uh, Matt's job today if he gets to it.
that's us done for the week, folks. We're uh, just about to knock off. It's about 40 degrees at the moment. And, uh, yeah, we have just finished all the windrows, as you probably saw in the drone footage. Uh, the boys did that. And uh, I just went back and just leveled them out a little bit because the sieve bucket leaves the dirt, which is what it's meant to do, which means there's just a little bit of a pile there. So, yeah, I just leveled that out quickly with the dozer. And, yeah, Jamie and Isaac, they've just... Uh, we're on a few little rock piles, but everything out of the paddock is cleaned up. So that is really good. Well, I better sign off on this video. So, yeah, thanks for showing an interest in what we do, and some of what we do anyway. It's um, good to see the kids having a bit of a go in school holidays and being involved in what we do as well. And it's been a bit of fun. So, no, nah, thanks guys for watching. It catches in the next one, hopefully. And if you like it, um, I think I've got to say like and subscribe.